Hi everybody. <laughs> Hope everybody's good today. I'm just trying to get the video up to watch my advert. <laughs> Sorry. Um, gosh, there's people here already. Hi Angela. Hi Lisa. Hi Kerry. Hi Jill. Hi Terry. Did I say hi Terry? Hi Stephen. Hi Joe. <laughs> Um, can you hear me okay because I can't find my headphones <laughs> but my mic I usually use so if someone can tell me that it's okay because I haven't I've got my other mic on and um, you might hear some interference it does that like mobile phone interference thing sometimes <laughs> <coughs> Hi Emery. Hi Diane. <laughs> Hi Anya. Hi Cheryl. <laughs> this was yesterday's painting. It's all drying out. So I'm taking it off of here. Uh, I will put this on Etsy. I've, I've put a few on Etsy yesterday and thank you to people who bought them. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, again, I'll say I'm going to send these bigger ones that I'm doing on this 40 by 40 centimetre rolled to keep the price down otherwise it's going to cost a stupid amount of money for the postage so if you do buy one and you get it it will come like rolled <coughs> with tissue paper but it will be like when you unravel it it will be like that <laughs> like a bit bendy but all you need to do is um, put some heavy books on it for a day or so Thank you, Kate, for doing that. You've got my link ready. <laughs> I, I need to put it under my videos. <laughs> yeah, it did dry really nice, didn't it? The, um, watercolours, when you paint them, sometimes when you're painting, they might look really bright, but they dry a lot duller. So you have to sort of compensate for that as you're painting. So, um, yeah, today, I'll put that over there. That's one to put up on it. I've messed up my paper already. I've got black stuff all over my hands. <laughs> right, my camera's in a funny position. I'm just going to adjust it and give the lens a wipe because I always forget before I start because I'm so not organised. <laughs> and now you can't see anything. Oh, yeah, you can. It's a bit closer in. Everything's moved because so my daughter's been playing around with my stuff. <laughs> Hi Debbie from Florida. Oh, uh, it's great that there's like people everywhere that come in to see, even though I do it at a stupid time. <laughs> it's even stupid time for where I live really, <laughs> but it's when I paint the best. Right. I'm going to paint some, oh, sorry, dirty bog swamp water again, but hey hey. I do it for a reason, so um, you can see where I put the water there. I'm going to paint some, like, I just, <laughs> um, when I was driving yesterday, we went to the beach and um, I saw some really nice, uh, look like poppy fields with all the wildflowers in, so I'm going to try and paint that. So, is my sound all right? Is there still, interf is there interference? I did something that I was hoping there wouldn't pick up on in interference. If someone can let me know, please, thank you. I'm going to do um, poppies and um, cornflowers and there's loads of like daisies. All right, thanks Kate, thanks Stephen. That's fine, good. Is it doing the um, interference things? sound <laughs> I've sort of clamped a metal thing on it <laughs> my technical clamping things and gaffer tape we love a bit of gaffer tape <laughs> um, cool <clears throat> right um yeah so th that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna try and do it like loosey-goosey and quite delicate like I was doing because I quite like my delicate paintings I'll just show you what I painted this morning because I got up really early. Let me just show you. I painted a bee and some um, 
thistles, but I just need to go over the thistles a bit to make them so. See. Pretty. I've got some lovely thistles in my garden, Crane. Beastly things they are. <coughs> Not enough to mind. Good. Thank you. It's all right. Yeah, someone complain. <laughs> Right, what am I doing? I'm putting poppies on it. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have a like a poppy up here. See, I use the dirty water so you can see where I put my water and I'm gonna drop in some cadmium red to make like a, a loose poppy. So I'm gonna try and make it look like a little poppy field sort of thing happening and there'll be another one here. <laughs> So I'm just I just sort of use the edge of the brush to um make the shape of the poppy so that would be the center in there let me blot it out a bit because then I can put a darker color in there so I can put the middle in let it spudge about a bit and then I might drop a bit of bleach in so no bleach here that might be the thick bleach. Don't want the thick bleach. Honey bleach. <laughs> so. so that's that. That's my first poppy. <laughs> and I'm just going to sort of do the stems. They have quite Filly little stems, don't they? Maybe I'll do a leaf. I always do a leaf and then I hate it. <laughs> Let's put a little bit of detail. I'm just going to drag the um, wet paint. This is just a bamboo skewer thing. I'm just going to drag the wet paint and do some scribbles because I like the scribbles. Maybe I'll do some I like painting poppies. <laughs> Let's do another poppy here. I'll try and sort of do them in um think about the composition as you're painting. This one needs to sort of and the size of things. Ooh, I've got hair. I love the way that just sort of drips in all the water and you can just let it do its thing. Drop in colours, a bit darker. And I might put a bit of yellow in this one. Just to um, brighten it up a bit. Yeah, I like painting poppies. <laughs> Let's do like a poppy head up here. They're quite um, delicate little things, aren't they? Oops, so that one's got a fat stem. It's got a lot of junk in its trunk. Have I got, yeah, I oh, know, it's okay, it looks okay. That looks okay. <laughs> and I might do like some poppy seed heads as well around, but I might put a background on this, I don't know. I was going to hope to do some um, daisies in here. There's daisies around at the minute. Are so pretty. Let's put some daisies in. My daisies are just the centres at the minute, and then I'll work on the um, actual daisy leaves because they're white. <laughs> sort of last. Just pop some in. Hi Debbie, <laughs> late, doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm doing poppies and um, like cornflowers and daisies and things. <laughs> I had stopped blotting, blotting, using my blotting. Anyone who like, watches me from ages ago used to always blot stuff out. I think my bleach had take, has taken over. 
but um, yeah, oh, it's going to be blue. I'm trying to make this look like a, mm, my brush has got a fat end. I'm trying to make it look like a um, poppy field. Uh, yeah, we do, the, the wild poppies seem to be like the original, like red poppies and then, but we have other poppies like the opium poppies, the pinky ones and that they sort of grow wild places as well. And I've got lots of sort of orangey colour poppies and I'm not sure what they're called, they look different. Yeah, are they California poppies? Something like that. But they look different, they're slightly different to like these wild poppies. Hi, you woman. <laughs> oh, that's great. You cycle, ride your bike for 30 minutes whilst you're doing this. That's good. I need one of those. <laughs> yeah, what, what, is it Welsh poppies? Yeah, are they the orange ones? I've got loads of orange ones. I need to stop chatting because um, I'm supposed to be painting. <laughs> Yeah, it's good you women because I usually do them for half an hour, 45 minutes, so you, you're on a good timer. <laughs> I like that. These are our um, cornflowers, <laughs> in case you do. Just in case you don't know. Just in case they don't look like cornflowers. I did paint cornflowers the other day, didn't I? I'm not sure. Put some more in. Oh yeah, Icelandic poppies. Are they the? Oh, I don't know. There's lots of different poppies. There's the Oriental poppies. I've got some beautiful ones in my garden. They've taken over, but the rain has battered them, and they've just all gone. They don't last very long. Like they're like bigger than my hands. They're like this size, two hand size for things. I haven't been out to take photos. I need to do another. Um, garden tour. I wonder if I could do a live garden tour. That would be fun. One morning when it's um, sunny. I wonder if it works for my signal. I don't know. I'll have to just use the um, my 4G's. And put a bit of dark in this before it uh, my black I was using black a lot the other day so I haven't got much black so I'll mix a bit of indetherine blue in there. before it it um, dries I'm not paying attention today to what I'm doing really Yeah, Californian poppies are, are really different, aren't they? I've grown some from seed. They're sort of flowering, but the flowers only sort of last a day, don't they? I suppose like most poppies. I had some really lovely pale pink Californian poppies. They were like a weird pink colour. They were really nice, but they haven't come back this year. Sometimes they come back and sometimes they don't. I'm going to get my wibbly wobbly brush because I feel like I'm being a bit, um, this is my sword brush so I'm just putting in some because I want it to be really loosey, loosey goosey I like that word. <laughs> so I'm using this sword brush to do some wibbly wobbly bits. So I don't mind that it's like picking up the red, it gives it a bit of. Let's try some, doing some um, cornflowers with this brush. Ooh, it's good. <laughs> you want this as a curtain? I am going to put some of my stuff on um, Redbubble, like I said, and you can order like different house things and stuff. I'll see what I can do. I have to, I have to wait. I have to do them on um, 
Photoshop because you have to get the right sizes and I have to make sure that the quality of the print is going to be good. Oh, hi, Lumen Palette. You can see you. Oh, thank you, Debbie. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, my brush is gone. I found another one that I had, which I thought was a newer one, but look, that hasn't got a nice point on it. Can you see? Now that's got a fat point. This one's nicer. <laughs> Thank you. I will invest. I need to go and look at the Jackson's art thing. Or oh, I like art discount as well. That's good. Or if the shops are going to be starting to open, when I go back down to Sussex, um, they, Sea Whites might be open. Oh, I can get lots of good things. <laughs> Oh, you women, have you done my loosen up your style class? Yeah, it's all poppies and things. It's really old. You did it 11, 10, 11 years ago. Yeah, it is really old. It's still up on my site. <laughs> it's really old. The um, video quality won't be like HD standard like you get now. But it is, um, oh gosh, it is, um, it's a good class. <laughs> I need to do some more classes, actually, up-to-date ones. It's finding the time. They take ages. Like, I was doing stuff on um, making classes for Skillshare, but um, after I got told my face was too white, I sort of got a bit fed up with them. Thank you, Kate. You're really good at the um, links. <laughs> I need to link stuff on my... Um, I, got, I need to go through my live videos because I can't do it when I first put up the um, videos from my phone. I have to link. I don't know. I'm sure there's a way to do it. Put the links and the description in. I'm just sort of doing the daisies here. I know they're supposed to be white, but... They will look, they sort of look white. They're not white, they're, it's shadow. And then I blot, blot it out. Oh, sorry, just Terry, you have to leave early. <laughs> you can watch on catch up. <laughs> It'll be up later. Well, sometimes it goes up straight away. I don't understand these things. This brush I'm using, if anyone's asking, it's an Art Master quarter inch. I don't know, it's a weird shape. It's quite nice for doing the petals on the... Um, I haven't used it. I have an array of brushes, but as you know, I tend to stick to this this old thing. <laughs> so I will come in and do some more shadows on them. But I'm just getting like the petals in place and I want to do some it's like my planning in my head I want to do some like buds and things and I don't mind that it's all smudging in but if if it does smudge a bit much I like to blot it out with a bit of tissue <coughs> It's quite good for doing leaves as well, this brush. But um, it does make nice petal shapes and you don't really have to do anything. You just sort of drag it. I'm a lazy painter, by the way, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> anything that makes it easier to create what you want. It, um, it's like putting bleach on it, like paints lovely effects for you. You don't have to worry. The, the colour I'm using for the daisies is just a mix of several 
icky colours. You know when you make mud in your palette, but it's just really watery. <laughs> Oh, Kathy got her picture yesterday. What? Sorry. Oh, thank you. Was it okay? Did it arrive safely? I'm always worried. So I don't miss it. If you want something for me to notice directly, so I'm busy um, painting. <laughs> Do it in capitals. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. Thank Marge. I mean, Mark. Yeah, when I say I'm a lazy painter, I mean that, that I do things to make it easy for me. Um, I'm not one of these people who could spend hours and hours doing a painting, although my other art I do, I spend weeks doing them, some of them. I've got one, I've still got one up on my easel, that greeny blue one. I think I might have shown you guys. Um, it's been there staring at me for a while. But they're quite emotional paintings and it takes a lot, a lot of um, my energy. <laughs> so when I do my watercolours, I like it because it's just like instant. I can just do it and I don't have to think much. Oh, I've got a, like a multicolour daisy there. This is daisy, rainbow daisy. That's all right, it looks pretty. Let's do some more cornflowers. I'm using this brush for everything now. Where would they look pretty? One here. Um, flippy floppy brush. Let's use this. Re I've got this really long... I'm utilising my brushes today. <laughs> I've got this really long flippy rigger brush. It's a really long rigger. Let's do some grasses. Make some nice green up. Yeah, it's an acrylic one, Amory, that I've got on my easel. I don't put um, watercolours. I paint watercolours flat. I can't paint them. You can't paint them. It runs everywhere. <laughs> Unless you've got a flat easel. Well, my f easel does go flat, but I, I can't. I don't know. I can't paint watercolours on. You see some, some like, um, there's one YouTube man I watch that I like. He's, I forgot what his name is. He's from around these parts somewhere. And he does these, um, he's a quite old guy. And he does these lovely landscapes. And I'm always amazed he does them upright. <laughs> I'm like, how love are you doing that? <laughs> I'm going to put some wibbly wibbly grasses in, so I'm going to, oh, I haven't got enough paint on there. This holds quite a lot of paint, this one. So I'm going to press down to make them fatter. Try and get the, it's not going over the, can't get the um, pressure with this one. Let's try my, um, where is it? This one. <laughs> wibbly wobbly grass bits. And some thicker ones. That's better. It's it's like a you can get like thick and thin lines. It's really nice. It's like italic. I've got lots of splashes on this. <laughs> if you buy an original painting from me, you will get. It comes with splashes, <laughs> but that's what makes the charm of things, isn't it? Really, you wouldn't normally get them. I'm gonna. I want to do like a poppy bud opening up somewhere. I don't like this bit. It's annoying me. Go away. Um, let's do one here. I've got Cyril hair on the end. Cyril's been very good today. Mm. 
He doesn't like the rain. Some darker ones. Do I do prints of any of my other art? Yeah, I've got a, a um, oh. <laughs> Mitzi, Mitzi B on um, Etsy. I've got another Etsy store that I sell my um, other art on as well, as well as a web, my website, MitziB.com. No, MitziBCrawl.com. I changed it. There's, I've got two, but... And I need to put some more. I've got some more um, of my other art that I need to put up for sale that I've done recently. My Mitzi B stuff, as I call it. <laughs> my outsider art. I've got some more of those that I've done recently that I'm going to put up for sale. I have been do doing that painting as well as these. Um, I keep thinking I should um, video myself doing that of art more as well but yeah. <laughs> wrong link yeah I've got another one I don't I can't um I think it's Mitzi B Kate or Mitzi B Crow I'm not sure <laughs> One of them, anyway. <laughs> um, let's do some splidgy poppies in the background, like there might be a poppy behind here. So I can paint over all the glass. Yes, I did just lick my brush, and then I can make the um, poppy, not the poppy, the... Um, daisy stand out a bit more. <laughs> So that's like a poppy in the background of there. I might do the splodgy bits here. So they look like poppies, even though just paler, so they look like they're in the background. Let's just block that. I'm going to do the centre. The poppies. I like to use a watercolour pencil to do the centres. This is just a art grit one and a sort of orangey yellow. Doesn't say what colour it is. It's probably got number. 108. There we go. <laughs> and I have got a black pencil somewhere. Everything's moving. Oh, thanks, Kate. <laughs> oh, hi, Rosemary. Thank you for watching. Yeah, I know. I paint at stupid times, so. <laughs> I hope the sound's still okay. I need to find my um, headphones. I've got no idea where I put them. This is just a bit of bleach to, um, I don't know why, because I feel like it needs it. <laughs> I quite like this how it is. I don't know if I should do any more to it. Let's get rid of my big splodge up there. I quite like it. Might just leave that like that. <laughs> It's a bit buzz, yeah. It just does the little buzzies now and then. But 
I apologize. I will be back to normal when I find my headphones. I should buy another pair actually. And then I won't have to search for them. I'm terrible. I'm like that with my reading glasses as well. I've got like 50 pairs and I just leave them around the house everywhere and then I still can't find them. <laughs> Just blotted that out a bit because it was a bit in your face. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave that there. I might, when it's all dry, I might add a little bit more detail to the shadows on the daisies. But I'm going to leave that one like that. And I might get back to my bee and just finish it for a few ten minutes. Yeah, I'm not going to do a background on this one. I thought it might look nice just like that. But yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to do my buzzy bee that I did this morning. <laughs> so, and I've lost a bit of the, this is the buzzy bee. This is the little, I don't know whether it looks like a bee. His bottom's um, got a bit extra fluffy <laughs> and bled out. <clears throat> so I'm just going to paint some, what do you call them? Thistly bits on here because they um, they sort of disappeared a bit. So makes a nice purpley, pinky, red colour. Don't want too many. I just wanted to, to define some little areas. And maybe I might go over his fuzzy bottom that he looks like he's been squashed on the end. <laughs> and just define a few little bits on this one. We're supposed to get a bit of sun later. Looking forward to it. How do I stop my colours getting muddy? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, I think it just comes naturally to me from like experience of painting. I mean, I have like mud on there on my palette, but I do keep the colours separate as such so and it's just um not painting sometimes i paint like muddy colors but i think it's just um practice you get to know what colors work sort of best to give it and if you've got good quality paints um if you paint with really like opaque chalky paints is you get um, mud, muddy colours happening um, especially if they're cheaper paints that's why it is good to buy artist quality because the um, pigment in them is a lot better and quite a lot of them are translucent colours rather than um, opaque with that chalkiness in them it's like the cadmium colours it's like cadmium red cadmium am I saying that right? Cadmium blue are quite chalky and opaque. Cadmium yellow, like this red and this yellow, they're quite opaque. And if you mix them, and also cerulean blue, they're quite chalky colours. Sort of. And um, if you mix them with um, other colours, you'll get sort of a muddy, a muddy thing happening. So. It's like practice and getting to know your paints and what they do. Yeah, my bumblebee's got a fuzzy, buzzy bottom. <laughs> a buzzy, 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 buzzy bottom. I might give him a sort of darker bit. Might have to make his bum bigger. He's going to have a real big bum, real buzzy bum, because it, um, yeah, it's like a big giant bumblebee now on a. <laughs> on a tiny thistle. <laughs> Let's put a bit of yellow in. Yes. 
Monday Bumblebee. <laughs> yeah, I think I've finished that now. I'm not going to do any more to it because I'll ruin it. <laughs> I just wanted to define these a bit because I lost it, but now I don't like it now I've done it. <laughs> right, let me go. Thank you for joining me, everybody. I'll just go back to this for a minute and I'll put my bumblebee away. He can go and dry over there. He can buzz off. <laughs> I'm just going to have one quick look at this because I, for some reason I feel it's not finished. Because it was catching my eye and I'm thinking, no, I don't like that bit. I just got... See, this is where I start fiddling. It needs... It just needs something here. Is bugging me. See, that's better. It's just little things. <laughs> just needed to put some shadows in. As soon as it's sort of dried. Happier with that now. <laughs> right, I'm going to stop fiddling now. <laughs> right, thank you everybody for joining me. And I will see you tomorrow probably, yes. And hopefully I will find my headphones and you won't get the buzzing, the busy buzzing happening that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sue. I don't know if I keep anyone sane. It keeps me sane. That's why I like doing it. It gives me something to do of a morning. And then I feel like I've achieved something for the day, which is always a good thing. Thank you to my lovely moderators, my spanner people. Your help is much, much appreciated. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.